video, I'm going to be showing you how to add math equations to a Google form using a simple Google Chrome extension. The test case that we have for this video is as follows. A math test is coming up for the students and the teacher has selected Google Forms at, as the platform where she's going to be taking the exam. So the teacher needs to add equations and formulas and stuff to the Google Form. Previously, papers conducted on Google Forms, she was typing out the questions on the Google Form. That led to a lot of issues and misunderstandings. So in this video, we're going to be tackling that issue using a simple Google Chrome extension. So let's get started. First, we'll be installing the extension that we need. So to do that, we have to go to the chrome.google.com slash webstore. This will take you to all the extensions, different kinds of extensions available on Google Chrome. So for this example, we have to add the math equation. So we're going to be using an extension called Equatio. I don't know how to exactly spell it, but I think I'm going to be going ahead with Equatio. You hit enter and you can see the first one, Math Made Digital. So here you can see there are some details, reviews. If you want, you can even say watch a video or something. And uh, after reading, maybe having a check, just click Add to Chrome. It will ask you whether you, do you want to add it and all. Just click Add Extension. And now the extension will be added to your Google Chrome. And the Equatio math my digital extension has been added to your google chrome now i'm going to be showing you how you can use this in your google form the questions that we have for the google form that we need to add so uh, first we're going to be going ahead and creating our form to create a new empty form you just need to type forms dot new this will create an empty form for you and uh, the first step that you should do is name it so we're going to be naming it as math test and i just want to change the name here maybe given description say solve the sums carefully okay now let's take another look at the questions that we have so the first question that we have is ev ev evaluate integral 2 by 1 integral x 0 1 upon x square plus y square dy by dx so now we, we are going to be using the chrome extension that we had previously and add the questions but if the teacher had to type this out it would have been impossible and even if by some way the teacher had typed out the questions it would have been difficult for the students to read them out so we're going to be starting by creating our first question as soon as you click you can see this blue icon here as soon as you click on it you can see that the, the chrome extension has started working you have various options here you can either type out the equation you can use the graph editor or the speech input or say if you have an stylus you can add your handwriting recognition but for now we're going to be typing out the question with the math so the first part that we had was integration 2 by 1 the upper limit so we're going to be writing integration integral and here you can see the upper limit is 2 and the lower limit is 1 next we have another integration sign we're going to type another one we're going to be writing another integral and the upper limit is x and 0 for the next x and then 0 And now I'm going to be adding the 1 by x raised to 2 plus y square. And the next part is dy by dx. You can see dy by dx after you're done writing the equation or the question that you have you just need to go ahead and click insert math it will take a few seconds to lower it and the question has been added to the google form now since 
at the top here evaluate is written we can if you want you can even write your evaluate evaluate now it's time to add the options a b c d so here you can see that we don't have an option for the to have it as an mcq you just need to click on the short answer and click on multiple choice so you can see the first option the same thing you have to again click on the insert math button you just need to clear all of this out and you can see the first option is log 2 I'm going to be writing log 2 it's done again we can hit insert math and it will get added to the option if you want you can even name the option as A and if you want you can write add all to B and C and D then we again gonna for the second option again hit the insert math button now we have a difficult one pi by 4 log 2 so the same thing we just need to type pi then it's divided by 4 we go up again and we have log 2 logarithm 2 again after you are done again hit insert math and it will get added so you need to do the same thing for all the options last option is 2 so you just have to type 2 and hit insert math now say if you want to preview this and you want to see how the students will view it just click on the preview button and here you can see the question is evaluate this is the question these are the a b c d options so after solving this sum the student the student can now properly read the question and lo even look at the options and then select the option he feels now we're going to be now we will be following the same steps to add the second question to add add another another question in google form just click on add questions the same thing evaluate you can type you can type whatever you need to write i'm going to write evaluate we're going to click on multiple choice in order to have options in it then to add the question i'm going to click on the insert math button again and so it is integral 2 by 0 so the same steps integral it's going to be 2 and 0 and there's another integral sign that has root 2x as the upper limit and 0 as the lower limit integral sign and you can even type root 2 so you know so you don't need to do the control or alt v button to add the root sign I'm going to have it as 0 and it's going to be xy dy by dx dx after you are done again same step insert math and the question has been successfully added to the google form now we're going to be following the same steps 1 by 3 is the first option we're going to name it as a option and you can see a google form automatically detects that you have four options and it clicks on add all as soon as you click add all there is a b c d we're going to be clicking on the second option it's 1 by 3 and hit insert math again it will take a few seconds and it's added the same thing for the next one 1 by 8 again click insert math 3 and 8 by 3 are the last two options And now all the questions and options have been successfully added to the Google form. Now we can have a final preview at what we have done. Here you can see that the first question is evaluate. This is the question. This, these are the four options. The same thing. This is another question with the four options. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to add 
proper equimat equations to a Google form using the Equatio Google Chrome extension. I will be leaving all the links in the description for the Chrome, uh, be it the Chrome Web Store or the extension that is there. And I will also leave the copy link for this Google form in if you want to refer to it. Thank you for watching.